Tamela Mann is an American gospel singer, songwriter, producer, and actress. She began her career as a singer with the gospel group Kirk Franklin and the Family. She was a vocalist on several tracks, including Now Behold the Lamb and Lean on Me, the latter of which also included Bono, Crystal Lewis, and Mary J. Blige. Tamela Mann began her solo career by releasing the albums Gotta Keep Moving in 2005 and The Master Plan in 2009. Her third studio album, Best Days, reached number one on the Billboard Gospel Albums chart and was certified gold by the RIAA. The lead single, Take Me to the King, was a commercial success and earned her a nomination for the Grammy Award for Best Gospel Contemporary Christian Music Performance. Her fourth studio album, One Way in 2016, also reached number one on the Billboard Gospel Albums chart and spawned the single, God Provides, which won her the Grammy Award for Best Gospel Performance Song in 2017. Along with her Grammy Award, Tamala Mann has earned many other accolades and honors, including multiple NAACP Image Awards, a BET Award, a Billboard Music Award, and an American Music Award. In 2022, she was inducted into the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame. In 2023, she broke the record for the most number one singles on the Billboard Gospel Airplay chart, with 10 of her songs topping the chart, including Take Me to the King, which spent 25 weeks on the top. Tamala Mann has an estimated net worth of eight million U.S. dollars, which is a combined net worth with her husband, David Mann, since 1988. About Tamala Mann's early life Tamala Jean Johnson Mann was born on June 9, 1966, in Fort Worth, Texas. Tamala and her 13 elder siblings were raised by their mother, who went by the name Mother Epp, in a very spiritual home grounded in the Church of God in Christ, a holiness Pentecostal Christian denomination. By the age of 12, Tamla was singing in the church's adult choir and was often selected to sing solos. Although she was bashful, she blossomed in the local church and high school choirs. About Tamala Mann's personal life Tamala is married to actor David Mann, known for his role as Deacon Leroy Brown in some of Tyler Perry's plays. In the spring of 2013, Tamala and David Mann renewed their 25th wedding vows. They raised five children together, David's daughters, Portia Mann, Tiffany Mann, and Tamala's niece, Sonia, and their two children together, son David Mann Jr., who was born in 1988, and daughter Latia Mann, who was born in 1990. Tamla and David also have eight grandchildren. In January 2015, a reality show about their family, It's a Man's World, premiered on BET. Tamla and David Mann are devout Christians, and in this program, they're able to show how they have a fun-loving, balanced family centered in godly principles and coping with real-life obstacles. In 2019, Tamla Mann joined the Weight Watchers International family as a weight loss ambassador. On July 23, 2019, she had double knee surgery just a couple of months after starting her weight loss journey. She recovered quickly and went on to lose 100 pounds of weight by January 1, 2020. About Tamla Mann's musical career Tamla Mann began her musical career when she joined Kirk Franklin and the family before going solo. In 2005, she and her husband David Mann created their own label, Tilly Mann Music Group, through which they've released several projects. In 2005, her solo album, Gotta Keep Moving, was released. The lead single, Speak Lord, peaked at number four on the U.S. Gospel Chart. In 2007, she released her first live album, The Live Experience. Tamla's songs, Take It to Jesus and Father Can You Hear Me, can be heard in the movie and on the soundtrack album of the 2005 comedy drama film, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. In 2009, her second studio album, The Master Plan, was released, adding a contemporary R&B sound. It peaked at number two on the Billboard Gospel Album Chart and at 97 on the Billboard 200. On August 14, 2012, her third studio album, Best Days, was released. It debuted at number one on the Billboard Top Gospel Albums chart and number 14 on the Billboard 200. The album was certified gold by the RIAA. In 2019, Billboard announced that Best Days was named the Gospel Album of the Decade. In 2014, Tamala Mann won the Seller Award for the Best Female Gospel Artist of the Year and Best Gospel Artist at the 2014 BET Awards. In 2018, she released a duet album with her husband entitled Us Against the World, The Love Project. On August 7, 2020, she released the single Touch From You from her upcoming album. The single spent five weeks on the top and was her seventh number one on Billboard's Gospel Airplay chart. In 2021, her sixth studio album called Overcomer was released and it received positive reviews from the critics. Tamala Mann has also enjoyed collaborating and performing with artists such as Fred Hammond, 
Yolanda Adams, R. Kelly, Mary J. Blige, Al Green, Bono, and Celine Dion. About Tamla Mann's acting career. Tamla Mann began acting in 1999 when she was discovered by Tyler Perry. In 2000, she debuted in the stage play I Can Do Bad All By Myself. In 2001, she appeared in the comedy From Kingdom Come. She went on to act in Perry's plays Medea's Family Reunion, Meet the Browns, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Medea's Classic Reunion, and What's Done in the Dark. She has appeared on television shows including The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, BET Soundstage, the 1999 Grammy Awards, the Dove Awards, and the United States of America World Olympics. In 2005, she appeared in the romantic comedy drama film Diary of a Mad Black Woman, which was inspired by the play of the same name. She reprised her role in the 2008 film Meet the Browns. In 2009, she began starring on the TBS sitcom Meet the Browns. The series ran to 2011, and 140 episodes were produced. She's also appeared in Medea Goes to Jail in 2009, Medea's Big Happy Family in 2011. In 2012, Tamela Mann appeared in the musical film Sparkle, a remake of the 1976 film of the same name alongside Whitney Houston and American Idol winner and R&B singer Jordan Sparks, making her film debut. She co-starred opposite Lisa Arundel Anderson in the 2014 drama film First Impression and starred and produced in the 2018 Christmas film Mary Wishmas with her husband David Mann. From 2015 to 2017, Tamela Mann starred in and produced the Bounce TV comedy series Man and Wife. The series was canceled after three seasons. In 2020, she returned to her role as Cora Simmons in the BET sitcom Tyler Perry's Assisted Living. In 2021, she starred in another holiday film, Soul Santa. In 2022, she appeared in a Medea Homecoming on Netflix. She later was cast on The Color Purple, a film adaptation for the screen from the 2005 stage musical of the same name. Aside from her musical and acting pursuits, Tamala Mann launched a new line of clothing, the Tamala Mann Collection, in 2019. The brand offers a variety of athleisure and workout wear for the curvy woman. About Tamala Mann's house, Tamala Mann and her husband David Mann own a home in Cedar Hill, Texas. The 5,672-square-foot home includes five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a swimming pool, a home theater, a gym, and a hot tub. The home was built in 2004. Well, that's all that we have for you today. Thanks so very much for watching. We hope that you'll share this video with a friend or two. And don't forget to go ahead and give us a like. We certainly would appreciate it.